Hi guys! This is my first time announcing on YouTube that I made the top five finalists in the whole entire world this year for the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. Ah! <laughs> I am so excited. It's the end of the day today that we found out and I'm like a little bit more calmed down now but my heart was racing like really really fast the whole entire day just because I was so happy. I don't think I've taken the smile off my face the whole day. Just like everybody saying thank you and being so excited and like this is the coolest opportunity that's ever ever come across my path in my whole entire life. So again, I'm just like super ecstatic and um, I really want to thank you guys. Like I have said this a million times, but like every single one of your votes that you told me in the comments or on my Instagram or on my Snapchat or on my Facebook, um, all of those votes helped me get to this top five spot. So just to kind of like update you guys on what is happening moving forward, um, the next time that we're going to be like doing something is not for another month. It's going to be on January 7th, 8th, and 9th. We are going to the bodybuilding.com headquarters in Boise, Idaho. Random spot for a headquarters, but that's where it is. And we're going to be doing photo shoots there. Um, and we're going to be doing on-screen interviews for bodybuilding.com and they're going to like talk to all of us and get to know us and really understand our personalities so they can pick the best person for the position. And then um, two weeks later is the LA Fit Expo and from there we'll be competing like on a stage. So I am uh, getting ready for the stage right now. So I'm cutting and I'm making my food for my travel day tomorrow. I'm going back home to Rhode Island for the week to see my family and I'm really excited to see them but tomorrow is a full day of travel for me and I'm like sitting here making my food like why am I not vlogging this? So I'll show you guys what I'm bringing tomorrow for um, I'm literally sitting here <laughs> Cutting up spinach. I was cutting up spinach and I was just like, what am I doing? Spinach, cucumbers, and red peppers as like a fibrous veggie snack meal for the plane. It's not a meal, there's no protein in it, but it's a good like snack that I can munch on. And tomorrow's a low carb day for me, so I have 120 grams of carbs for the day and um, I'm gonna be traveling all day, so having like a fibrous snack full of veggies. Um, spinach is something that I really go for when I'm cutting and I have like low carb. So I really like raw vegetables for a snack on the plane. That's why I did the spinach. And I really wanted to get, um, there's like bad light here. I really wanted to get a uh, red pepper and cucumber. So I just went to the grocery store and I got one red pepper and one cucumber. So I'm going to chop that up and put it in the spinach. So here it is, all chopped up. Really, really good snack. I just made a little um, dressing to put on that or to dunk it in. I just did honey mustard. One carb per serving. And I did um, Simple Girl Sweet Vinaigrette. Zero everything. The first ingredient is... Where is it? First ingredient is water. So. This stuff is really cool and I just mixed those two together to get like a good flavor and a little bit more. So I'm just gonna like throw that in there. Doing that. And I have another meal that I just made. Show y'all. It's just sweet potatoes, lettuce, and taco seasoned ground turkey. It's in there somewhere, I promise. And I just did some salt on that. Um, one more thing that I have already made. I didn't make the last thing yet. Fitzy Foods meal. This is... Focus. Turkey, um, green chili quesadillas. Macros on this guy are 15 fat, 27 carbs, 26 protein. So, and I just made waffles. And waffles are awesome because they can be broken apart into little pieces. So this will be my first meal after I get to the airport and like get all settled in and everything. I used this stuff is the best pancake mix I've ever had. P28 pancake mix. These are the macros on it. Let's zoom. 
21 carb, 4 fat, and 14 protein for 45 grams. So I used 20 grams of this, so like half. And then I did, obviously, half a serving of Snickerdoodle Select Protein. And I had um, my fat... And my fats are a little bit lower now, just so we can break into my fat stores a little bit more quickly, since I only have five and seven weeks left. So I did egg whites in my in my waffle instead of a full egg, but I like cooking with a full egg better. The waffle comes out a little bit better; it's a little bit more fluffy. Um, but I did that, and last but not least, Icon Meals cookies. These are the best cookies. Ever. Morning guys, I'm at LAX, I'm headed home. I tried to dress like slightly warm by the time I get there. It's gonna be like 40 degrees, but I'm really excited to go home and see my family. I haven't seen them since um, June 1st when I left for California, so I'm really excited to go see them. I'm excited to see my dog. My dog is 16 years old. He is old, and I was so excited that he's like still around when I'm home. So I brought one uh, carry-on item and one personal item. Personal item is food. I have a regular water bottle. Um, I got some, some fruit fruit. And I got a sparkling water. I was gonna get coffee, but um, airplanes kind of like dry out my mouth, and I haven't had water yet because I couldn't have any water. And I'm going to security and you know all the drills, so um, I'm starving, and I haven't been up there early in a while. I usually eat my first meal at nine now, but now it's seven. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to vlog like what I'm doing on the plane ride, but. Who knows how uh, how the people next to me are gonna be? So this never ever happens. So apparently, no one travels right after Thanksgiving and right before Christmas. Alrighty, I'm at my next location. I'm in Washington DC at the airport here. I have like about an hour in between my two flights. Um, I went to Starbucks and I got a very large unsweetened green iced tea because uh, airplanes are really hot and stuffy. I don't know if you guys know when I have my like hat on and stuff. I want to make sure I'm plenty warm when I get home. Um, another cool thing about flying from the west coast to the east coast is that you gain three hours. So it's technically time for me to eat my third meal but I ate already and I'm starving but it's only it's four o'clock here so I can eat my fourth meal and my fifth meal soon after thank god anyways um, I'm gonna get some work done in between flights I just got back to Rhode Island Hi. my dad's here picking Hi, me up honey. I'm so excited Beautiful. it was a long day of traveling but I'm here eating my last meal I have oatmeal in here. I used to eat like that. He's uh, gonna start busy. eating. I'm gonna start eating. <laughs> <laughs> and um, look at there's a puppy class going on. I don't know what's going on, but they're training these dogs for something. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go. That'll be it for today's vlog. I'm gonna go spend time with my family and my dad here. So. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you found the, any of my travel tips helpful or useful or anything like that. If you want to see more, let me know.
doesn't even know it's me. <laughs> oh, no, oh it's it. okay. He oh, smells okay. your food. He That's only smells your food. There's no food in there. It's all We're answering email this morning. Aren't we? Little baby. Say hello. Oh, and then he does this for a minute and then he wants to get down. But he's just so cute, I can't let him. <laughs> this is my 16 year old. I know he's so old, but he's the cutest. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good boy. <laughs> what? What are you looking at me like that for? It's like, what is that thing? It's not in my generation. Hello. God bless you. God bless you. Oh. <laughs>